Okay, now see this question. A block is placed on a rough horizontal inclined plane of inclination theta equal to 30 degree can just be pushed upwards by applying the force F as shown. Okay. If the angle of inclination of the inclined plane is increased to theta equal to 60 degree, the same block can just be prevented from sliding down by application of a force of same magnitude. The coefficient of friction between the block and the inclined plane is what? So that's a very easy question. So in the initial case, in the initial case, you are applying the force F upwards to just move the block. If the block is moving upwards, then friction will act downwards. Okay, so friction will be acting downwards. Right. Then uh, if I write the component of Mg, wait, uh, then this is your normal force N. This is friction F. Okay. And then I have Mg. So here I have Mg sine theta. Mg sine theta means sine 30. So Mg by 2. And here I have mg cos theta. So cos 30 degree will be root 3 by 2. So mg root 3 by 2. Okay. So this is the FBD for the initial situation. When the block can just be pushed upwards. Correct. So n is equal to simple over here. n is equal to mg by mg into root 3 by 2. And therefore since the block is just moving. Friction will be mu n. Okay. So this will be mu mg root 3 by 2. Okay. Now, just moving means acceleration is zero. So friction should be equal to F plus mg by 2. Sorry, uh, F should be equal to friction plus mg by 2. Okay, F should be equal to friction plus mg by 2. Now, F, so this will be equal to F is equal to friction is what? Mu mg root 3 by 2. So mu root 3 plus 1 times mg by 2 this will be the force f now let's come to the second part of the question if the angle of inclination of the inclined plane is increased to uh, 60 degree the same block can just be prevented from sliding down just be prevented from sliding downwards now so in second case what will happen let's just write down second case so your block is over here Again, you are applying a force F. Okay. Now, the angle is sin, uh, 60 degree, right? So, the components of gravity will be what? This will be mg sin 60. So, mg root 3 by 2. And here we have mg cos 60. So, mg by 2. Alright. Then we have the normal force. So, here we have normal force n1. Okay. And the frictional force now. The frictional force will be upwards f1 why upwards because the block is just trying to slide down okay so n1 is equal to now mg by 2 so f1 is equal to mu n1 so that is mu mg by 2 okay then uh, again f plus f1 should be equal to mg root 3 by 2 so f plus f1 should be equal to mg root 3 by 2 we are just preventing from sliding. So acceleration is 0. F is what? Mu root 3 plus 1 mg by 2. So mu root 3 plus 1 mg by 2. Plus F1 is what? Mu mg by 2. Is equal to mg by 2 root 3. So mg by 2 will cancel out. Okay. So what do we get? Mu root 3 plus 1 plus mu is equals to root 3 okay so mu times root 3 plus 1 is equals to root 3 minus 1 so now it's very easy the answer will be option c okay